What did you give her? A bone. Dogs. Yeah. She wants Every to, time you want to film. She wants to eat it like right here and really loudly. <laughs> Why do we have milk that is spelled with a Y and has keto on it? I don't know. I found it at Sprouts and it looks really interesting. This is a plant-based keto milk from a company called Moola. Moola? I hope it didn't cost you a lot of Moola. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. I'm a little worried about this. So I found this at Sprouts. What is it made out of? I went there because uh, I wanted to get Zevia because it was buy one, get one free. And I wiped them out of 26 10 packs. Wow. But I was going through and I'm a deals guy. These were on sale. They were three for 10. I think the normal price was $4 a piece. Okay. And I quickly grant, glanced at the ingredients when I was there, but we're going to get in the ingredients when we did number five. And I was pretty impressed with it. So I picked it up and these are plant-based keto milks. Plant-based. There's three different flavors. We have cinnamon roll. Okay. You have... Chocolatey chip. And vanilla cream. All right. Okay, so this is shake it. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna taste all three of these and our new thing, because we're gonna generally either make a protein drink with this. Right. Like using like the strawberry collagen from Perfect Keto. Uh-huh. Or we're gonna put it in our coffee. All right. So we've got our frother, because that's very important. Does milk froth? Because we have recently learned some milks don't froth. At all. Check out that video. I'm going to put a link for it right here. Yeah. So um, I have three glasses here. I want to put these to the side so they're not like all over the place. Which one sure. do we want to start with? Let's do chocolatey chocolates. Okay. So chocolatey we're gonna, chip. We're going to put these off to the side. Chocolatey mm. what? Chocolatey chip. Chocolatey chip. Ooh. Okay. So we'll just, we'll use one glass. I only brought three. It does look chocolatey. Let's do this. While we're doing that, let's just put a little we'll just splash. Start, we'll, we're not going to do all three. We're just going to do one of them. Yeah, because they should all be the same. They should same. all be the same. Okay, so we'll put this off to the side. And just see if it froths. And we're going to get that frothing. Okay. You want to put the top on that? Sure. All right. You're we... first. You be the guinea pig. Oh, great. Hold off. That's pretty good. That's very good. It tastes, I mean, it's definitely. It tastes like almond milk. Yeah, it's definitely like an almond milk. What was that one drink that we really liked that we got at Whole Foods? Koya. Koya. That's Koya what it, keto. That's what it kind of reminds me of. Except it's, it's a little thin. Yeah, it's a little bit thinner. It's thin like almond milk is, but it's. It's got a chocolate chip taste, like a it chocolate. Does. It's not like a full on chocolate milk. It's it's like a no. chocolate vanilla milk. Yeah, like a like a chocolate chip cookie. I'm, I that is definitely drinkable as just a glass of milk. Yeah, like if you miss chocolate milk and you don't mind almond milk, because again, almond milk is kind of watery. Yeah, it is. It's not as watery as a regular almond milk, but it's got a nice flavor to it. I always make sure I drink it really cold with a lot of ice. That's how I like it. Okay, so which one's next? Cinnamon, cinnamon roll, roll or vanilla cream? Where do we want to finish? Let's, I figure we should do probably vanilla. Yeah, I want to finish. Because no, cinnamon wanna, may affect the vanilla no, taste. No, I want to finish with vanilla. Cause okay. Because I, I put a lot of stock in like, what does the vanilla taste like? Now it does say shake well. Yeah, that was very refreshing. Because that's the thing about these like plant-based ones. They're not heavy. It's not like you're drinking... You know, sometimes if you if you had trouble with milk, sometimes your tummy gets a little upset, yeah. right? You don't get that with this. All right, so this is supposed to be cinnamon roll. This is cinnamon roll. I don't. I'm not like punched in the face with cinnamon smell. I I don't want that though. Mm. 
Very nice. That is smooth. And that's got a, that is a cinnamon roll taste. That is a very cinnamon roll taste. Like I would, you know what I would totally do? Use that to make like, um, like a keto pancake batter. Okay, so here's the cinnamon it reminds me of. The milk after like eating cinnamon toast crunch or something yes, like that. Yes, yes. You want that last little yes, tiny Yes, I do. Thing? I'm checking on this real quick. Very nice. It's heating up. That is very nice. I don't nice. really see much froth going yet, but we're gonna we're gonna let it keep going. Hope springs eternal. Okay, it, it's done. Let's see what you it looks do like. Want to that before? Yeah. We get to the vanilla. Does it froth? Because again, we've discovered it doesn't always froth. They don't always froth. And nope. No froth. No froth. But let me taste it hot because this is the chocolate one. That's disappointing. Wow, that's really nice. Is if it, you drink tea, if you drink like hot tea, I think that you would really enjoy this. Can as I part taste it hot? No. Really? Yes, you can. That's good. Oh, I like that warm. Right? I really like it warm. I like that warm. Reminds <laughs> me of when I was a kid, I used to go out and shovel snow, and the neighbor across the street, when I was done shoveling his driveway, would bring me and I would get like warm milk. That's what they would give me. Like How warm nice. milk. How nice. That's yeah, so that's sweet. That's what it reminds me of. That's yeah, really good. It, it, I'm disappointed it doesn't froth. You know what? While we're waiting here, we got we got to do one more. Let's do the vanilla. Maybe the chocolatey chip just didn't want to froth. So okay, we got to open this one anyway. So we're we're gonna in there? we're gonna try one more. I really like it warm. I never would have tried it warm except for the frother. So I'm glad that we did that. Yeah, because I probably this would never frother done it. will heat and froth. Yeah. Okay, you ready? I'm Here gonna give go. it one more shake just in case. Here we go. Vanilla cream. That is very milk looking. It's like a bluish color though, isn't it? Is it me or is it my with my glasses? Star or is it Wars all the milk. lights and everything? No, it's a little blue. It's got a blue tint to it. Kind of like that blue. That just tastes plain. Yeah. Just tastes like plain milk, plain almond uh, it, milk. It tastes, you know, what it tastes like it tastes like vanilla almond milk. It tastes like vanilla almond. The unsweet. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it, just in case we didn't like shake, shake it, it enough. up enough. Give it its best shot. Okay, let's do one more sip. Because to me, it tastes like vanilla almond milk. It totally tastes like vanilla almond milk. Okay. I mean, not bad. This it's, is the best one. It's got a, the only thing about this though, before we. we I'm not bashing I, it. Yeah, I'm not bashing it, but. I was just thinking more cream there's vanilla flavor. But there's more creaminess. Like yes. it has a more like milky, thick taste to it. I will say that. Five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're gonna talk about the ingredients. Does a keto based on a nutrition label? Has a taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Number one. Number one is the ingredients. Uh, so I'm going to start off here. I got the cinnamon roll. Okay. The ingredients in this are filtered water, organic coconut cream, organic MCT oil, organic coconut oil, then less than 2% of organic pea protein, calcium carbonate, organic sunflower lecithin, natural flavors, sea salt, organic cinnamon, galan gum, organic stevia leaf extract, organic cinnamon extract, vitamin D, and then, uh, which is comes from vegan, col col Colic whatever calciferol and vitamin K two from Mena quinine quinine. Queenin. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Some some weird medical word. So um, this one, the only difference is it's got cocoa extract, obviously. And this one is pretty much all the same stuff without the cinnamon. There is a little thing on the back. It says meet Muala. He has spots like a cow, but he lives in a tree. In fact, he's almost exactly like a regular koala, except That's he cute. picks nuts, seeds, and fruit, and his favorite trees, and blends them into the most delicious organic plant-based beverages in a secret Muala factory. Then he leaves bottles at your favorite grocery store, hides, and waits for you to pick them up. I love the labeling. Very, very cute packaging, and it looks like it's Texas owned and operated. Okay. Very nice. Please have froth. Please be frothy. No. Nope. 
Uh, that's kind of a bummer. I'm not saying not to buy it, but it's kind of a bummer. Let me have a sip of that, though. I, I was really hoping for a froth because I, I was like, this would be awesome for the top of our coffee. It's good, though, as a warm beverage. It's good and warm. Yeah. Yeah. Very okay, good. number two, does it keto based on a nutrition label? So You're up. Yeah, so interestingly enough, this is coconut, but I don't taste the coconut. No. Yeah. It tastes like almond milk, it tastes like honestly. almond milk. All right, so a serving size is one cup, mm -hmm. 70 calories per serving, which 70. looks about right. Seven grams of fat, a one gram of protein, uh, less than one total carb, mm -hmm. no fiber. So, yeah. I think the ingredients in this are great. So, really great. if you just want to compare it to almond milk, like an unsweetened vanilla almond milk, that would be like 35 calories. But it's one total carb, which I'm going to count this as one because this is less than and one. And five grams. And it's usually less fat. It's like three grams of fat, whereas this is seven. Well, and because it's um, made from coconut, it's got five grams of MCTs. Yeah. So really good. I'm really impressed with the ingredients Me in too. This. It does say, by the way, in case you're interested, it says plant-based, no added sugar, dairy-free, non-GMO, gluten-free, lactose-free, soy-free, carrageenan-free, which most Very almond important. milks are not. Yeah. And then, of course, it is vegan, and it contains vitamin D and vitamin K2. Really impressive. I'm super impressed. Uh, is it sweet? No, but I don't need it to be. No. Number three, how do they taste? I'm really, really impressed. Really surprised. I'm kind of upset that, like, the closest sprouts to us is 30 minutes away, and I don't normally head over to the beach, and that's where our sprouts is. Because I would buy this on a regular basis, especially I'm thinking about like mixing this with the eggs to make our keto chow protein custard. Oh, definitely. And using this instead of almond milk. Oh, yeah, because you're going to get bring a, a flavor. Yeah, you're going to get a flavor, especially these two. This one, not so much. It's just going to taste like almond milk. But if you're adding a little bit more fat, which will kind of help that out a little bit. Yeah. So I feel like, I don't know. I'm really, really impressed with it. I would I still, is great. even though it doesn't froth, I would still add it to my coffee. Because you do get a little bit of a flavor, which is nice. And just, again, if you want to like mix it with a collagen, like a chocolate collagen, or can you imagine take this chocolate oh, yeah. chip one and mix it with the strawberry collagen from Perfect Keto, and you get that chocolate strawberry kind of mixture. That's kind of really awesome. Or mix the cinnamon roll one with the cinnamon roll from yes. Perfect Keto. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely impressed with the taste overall. Number four, how much they cost. So again, I got them on sale three, three for, for $10. $10. Regular price was, I want to say it was like $4 a piece, which is pretty much right in line yeah. with the higher end keto milk. So, you know, you do see some of the almond milks, you can get them for like $2.50 to $3 for a half a gallon. But then the better ones that are like much less ingredients, more natural. They're usually up there at the four to five dollars. So that's the price range that these are in. But I always like getting something on a sale. Yeah. Deal. I mean definitely on sale. I'm definitely picking them up every time I'm over there if they're on sale. Yeah. So number five, would we recommend them? Yes, very much so. And I'm gonna tell you, coming into this, something that's stamped keto and something where they're spelling milk with a Y, like I at first was like, no. Yeah, I, I was kind of suspect when I saw keto. And again, we purchased this with our own money. They didn't send it to us or no. anything like that. And uh, yeah, it does say keto certified on the bottom. But that means nothing to me. <laughs> <laughs> Who is certifying it? I'm really impressed with that. I absolutely would recommend them. If you if you miss drinking a glass of milk, maybe you do like occasionally like to have like a magic spoon or a cereal school cereal and you want to put it in milk. Yes. I think these are great options. I do too. And they're very tasty. Yeah. I like it. Well, that is going to be our video for today. Let us know down in the comment section if you have ever tried the Muwala Keto Milk. And if you have, let us know what your favorite flavor is. Yeah. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, we have some other videos you might be interested in, which I'm going to link right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time Rachel picks her favorite, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.